good ears welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Emma and I am so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video I hope you like it we'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already tonight's dinner I am making some ground turkey tostadas I'm gonna start by just browning up my ground turkey ground turkey is done now I'm gonna add my taco seasoning with some water and start cooking up my beans. We're just having these green chili and lime refried beans. I always add a quarter of milk to the can and pour it into the beans. And for our toppings here, I just crumbled up some queso fresco cheese and cut up this little pitiful tomato I had. Now time to assemble the tostadas. The meat is done, the beans are done. On top of the tostada, I just layered it with some sour cream, the beans, the ground turkey, queso fresco, tomato, and a little green onion. And that's it. Delicious. For tonight's dinner in here, I have a quarter cup of beef broth. I have put five boneless pork chops. I'm going to pour a 10.5 ounce French onion soup over top of the pork chops. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic pepper. I'm gonna roughly dice this onion and put it on top. And then we're gonna slow cook this for 10 hours. Pepper is on. The French onion soup and the onions are in. Lid is on. Low for 10 hours. I am home from work. The pork chops are cooked up. Now I'm going to add some mozzarella. and some crispy fried onions. And I'm gonna broil this for three minutes. While that broils up, I'm just gonna make some of this four cheese mashed potato. Now time to serve it up. And there it is all served up. The mashed potato is hiding under the pork chop and the gravy. Delicious. For tonight's dinner, I didn't feel like cooking, so I'm gonna give myself some grace, and I am just going to throw this Sam's Choice stuffed crust buffalo chicken pizza in the oven for around six bucks. It's super delicious and affordable. It's actually one of our favorites. And then I just made up a little salad on the side with spinach, tomato, and cucumber. My husband had some sharp cheddar cheese and ranch dressing, and then on mine, I had some French dressing and some feta cheese. Delicious, and I always have one of these pizzas in my freezer for lazy days like today. For tonight's dinner, into my Ninja Foodie base here, I put two boneless skinless chicken breasts, a 10.5 ounce can of cream of chicken soup, then I filled the crema chicken soup container up halfway with some vegetable broth, poured that in, and then I added a 10.5 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. Once the cream of mushroom soup was in, I used the can and I filled the can up halfway with some milk and poured that in. Then I gave that a little stir, 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 and sprinkled some rosemary and salt and pepper on top of the chicken. Then I popped the lid on and cooked it on low for six hours. 
Then once the chicken was done, I took the chicken out and had my husband shred it for me. While he was doing that, I added a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Gave that a little whisk, whisk, whisk. Once the heavy whipping cream was whisked in, I added a 10.5 ounce can of peas and carrots. And then I gave that a little whisk, whisk, whisk. And then I added the chicken back. Once the chicken was all whisked in, I added seven Pillsbury Grand biscuits on top of the chicken mixture. And then I melted up some um, Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. And, and I just brushed that butter on top of the biscuits. And because I'm using my Ninja Foodi, I don't need to um, put this in the oven or anything because my Ninja Foodi has a bake function. So once the butter was on, I just baked the biscuits 375 for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes was up, I flipped them and did another 375 and I put the timer at 15 minutes, but they only needed 10. And there they are, golden brown, delicious. And here it is all served up. Absolutely delicious. And that concludes this week's What's for Dinner video. I hope you guys liked it. We'll give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on Friday for my Soup of the Week video. Have a fabulous week. Bye.